But, but before we move on with the program, and while we've got some people here, I want to take about a brief five minutes and just, um, as we present our Multicultural Marketing Achievement Award. And uh, the reason we want to do this is one of the things that we've been able to do as a company, and the reason we've been uh, known nationally for what we do, is that we've always been able to give our awards to some of our leaders in the industry. And, um, you know, the multicultural marketing industry, that's, this is relatively new. This isn't an old, uh, like, like the general market advertising industry. It's centuries old. Well, this is a new industry. This started in the early 80s, this effort to reach a multicultural community. So it's relatively new. Some of the people that we've honored here the last 20 years, they'll go down as icons in the industry. And I mean that, folks. We've been very fortunate to bring some of the top people here that are doing what it's all about. And they lead with, with disciplines and introducing new ways of doing this marketing. So we've been very honored to, uh, to have uh, presented these awards. We do an Hispanic Marketing Award and, uh, that's later in August. But uh, some of the, some of the uh, awardees and recipients of our uh, Multicultural Marketing Achievement Award is uh, Carlos Garcia, who leads uh, B&G out in, in Los Angeles, major player. Isabel, the great Isabel Valdez who will probably go down as one of the leaders in multicultural marketing. Uh, Rudy Rodriguez, uh, some of you might know Rudy, who led General Mills' multicultural marketing efforts, and uh, he's a uh, he's, uh, terrific, terrific uh, marketer and presenter. Saul Gitlin, Saul Gitlin's a, a kind of a unique person, a, a Jewish, a Jewish born, but he was with Kang and Lee out of New York, and the leading Asian American marketing a company in the world. David Morris, a regular uh, of ours here from New American Dimensions. Uh, the great Jose Villa and, uh, and um, the, uh, I think one of the leaders, you know, Carlos Santiago. So this year, we thought, well, we're focusing on, uh, on some of our local talent. And we do have a lot of, a lot of talent. I've got my lunch bag, and I think I've got a peanut butter sandwich in here. But, well, no, it's not, it's an award. Okay, but, um, <laughs> but listen, you know, I, I um, you know, after 22 years, I, re I really have to tell you, just a local St. Paul guy, like a lot of you, and it's really been a, a thrilling business to be in, really. It's really hip, and, you know, a lot of people in New York and L.A., and I go out and visit. My, my daughter is in the business in New York. She's with uh, the Zoli um, Publications, you know, the fashion stuff, and my daughter in L.A. and that time. I've been so grateful, but I love doing the shows here. You know, we don't want to be in Chicago and L.A. We want to do it right here, because we have such a great group as yourselves who are so interested in what this thing's about. I mean, that's the key. You know, you want to learn, you want to listen, you want to interact, and that's how we, we look at our next uh, 10 years in the business of working with new Minnesota operas here today, our good friends from Comcast, Ordway Friends, uh, the DNR, you know, those are going to be our new clients. And we, you know, my, Rico, myself, uh, my other uh, subcontractors in my business and our, and our collaborators, we're all about an ROI for you. We want you to be successful because when you're successful, we have more multicultural folks taking advantage of all these great things we offer in the cities. You know, we have to, you can only enjoy a city when you feel some ownership, right? And ownership is being able to go to the Ordway to Science Museum, South St. Paul, meet the mayor, you know, right? So, uh, yeah, so here is our awardee. It's um, a friend of mine, really. It's uh, a gentleman uh, that I, uh, I met and interacted with 22 years ago when we first started. He had already launched his career, so he was a, a very good contact for, for me and our company then, as we, uh, as we decided to do our Hispanic marketing conference. So the uh, Aguilar Productions and the award committee are honored to present the Multicultural Marketing Achievement Award to Rico Vallejos. <laughs> Rico, our, our multicultural creative director, trans creator, in recognition 
of your outstanding achievements at the multicultural market industry in the United States. And of course, presented at the 22nd Annual Multicultural Marketing Conference and Awards, March 22nd, 2018. Congratulations, Rico. Can I get it? We surprised Rico. Thank you. Total surprise. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yes, we met uh, the 22 years ago during the first Hispanic marketing conference. I was doing Hispanic and international marketing at an agency downtown Minneapolis. And just across the street from my office, I heard about this Hispanic marketing conference in Minneapolis. I've been to conferences in New York, in Miami, in LA. That's where they all were. And uh, so I went to the conference. Um, I attended it. I, I loved the, uh, what I saw. And that's when I met uh, Rick. I met other people there. One of them is Tim Spitzak, who is a pub local publisher of the St. Paul Voice. We ended up uh, having coffee after the conference. We sat down for an hour to talk. And then we launched, and I was the, basically the, the founding editor-in-chief of La Voz Latina, one of the local newspapers. And uh, for the first year, I did all the work, translation, writing, a lot of translation. I twisted his arm to change the name from La Voz de St. Paul to La Voz Latina because I would go to businesses in, in, in South Minneapolis and they'll say, well, how about La Voz de Minneapolis? You know, we are also Latinos here. So we changed it to uh, Pan Twin Cities, a very more, much more global name. And, uh, but most of my work traditionally and still is, is national. I do Hispanic marketing and multicultural marketing for um, most of the populations around the country. And increasingly, I've been doing more and more work in Minnesota uh, for, for reaching multicultural communities in Minnesota, Latino. And that was one of my first efforts, you know, launching this uh, newspaper, which still go on strong. You can go to any uh, media uh, place and, you know, the, 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 where the magazines are, the entrance of the Latino buildings, you will see La Voz Latina. And I look at it and I go, ah, that was my baby. <laughs> After a year of doing all the work, I found somebody for him to, to hire, and, and the, the magazine still going strong. So, and uh, Rick and I have been to many conferences around the around the world, really around the country together, to Puerto Rico, to Latino Hispanic marketing conferences, uh, San Antonio, LA, New York, everywhere. And uh, so they know us. They know, and sometimes they see me and say, hey, "Where's Rick? Where's Rick? <laughs> Here you are." And they, they all say, you two must be the only Latinos in Minnesota, right? <laughs> There's nobody else, you know, because that's all, that, that's all they know. If you talk to Hispanic marketing people around the country, that's, that's who they know, and mo mostly Rick. They will say, well, it's Rick Aguilar. So, and he, he's made it to some of the lists I'm going to show you know, in my presentation today, the Latinos, uh, the leading Latinos, the opinion leaders in the Latino community nationwide. And so it's been uh, such a privilege to know Rick all these years and to have been a regular speaker at these conferences uh, over the years. And if I'm in town, I kind of go back and forth between Minnesota and the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, mostly Oregon, Portland, and Eugene. I moved to Eugene uh, back in 2009 when one of my daughters, who has special needs, moved there. So I moved there because of personal reasons. But I fell in love with the place. And so I spent time in Portland. I do a lot of work here in town as well, so I'm in Minnesota a lot, and, uh, and I love it. And now, um, doing Hispanic marketing, you have to be. It's hard to do Hispanic marketing if you're not in the major Hispanic markets. So I go to New York a lot, to Chicago, to California all the time, and in the winter, to Miami. That's a great place to, <laughs> to spend, the, to spend but it's a very, very important Hispanic market, and the Texas markets too. So they're playing the music now, so thank you so much. <laughs> Well deserved, Rico. Yeah, we have, we have uh, we've had a great ride. It's still happening, baby. Right? It's still happening. That's good. Okay. Um, you notice we're moving along uh, uh, pretty good here, and it's important. We've, we've changed our hours. You know, for years we were till three o'clock. Well, we know that pressures have changed at the office. We can't do the whole day gig anymore. Then hang out for margaritas happy hour, and then we go to the nightclub after that, everybody goes home at one o'clock, we can't do that anymore. In fact, I can't do that anymore. But, uh, so we've shortened our day, 
And I, I love the, the thank you for paying attention to, to what we're doing here because that's so important for us. Now, a couple of things that I'm going I'm to ask everyone um, and we, with our next, uh, our next presentation is going to be uh, very important. Uh, it's it's going to be a good one. But uh, we want to get some photos. So, um, so Rico, we want, we want to take some, some photos right by our poster there because we're going to be doing an article in our print publication. So before anyone leaves, uh, as we get ready for this thing, we're going to do some photos right now, Rico. Okay, and and I'm gonna and I'm you know just like school, you have to ask the groups to come up, and that's okay because we're all friends here, right? We're having a good time, man, huh? right? Yeah. Everybody's yeah. home, everybody's okay. Well, what I ask, we'll start with Comcast group. Woo. Comcast group, come on up here and get a photo, and we're gonna get this done rapidly, man. Because I want everybody to be in the newspaper. We're gonna do what? Two pages, and we're gonna do three. You know, that's what I love about the paper business. We'll do three. We'll do three pages. So Rico, uh, Rico's our, our photographer, and so we'll get this guy. Yeah. He's doing everything. He's washing dishes after two minutes, so don't let him go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a fun, silly one. No. Okay, can I have the uh, uh, the opera group? Okay, can we get the get the. I love opera. I just, yeah, we've got a nice crew here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get them right around right the thing and um, let me jump in on this one. Right. Let me kind of jump in on this one. Hey, Leah, Leah, Christina, Christina, we've done this before, we'll do it again, yeah, and then the DNR, that's the DNR, it's awesome, yeah, really well, and then we'll get the, yeah, all right, that's why it's there, oh, that's like, hey, Peter, I do, hey, nice, oh, it's so nice, Or is it just Jimmy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy? Mayor? Yeah, Mayor, Joe, Jim. And then, uh, uh, uh she did one step over her and pulled one way across. She's not like a very different oh. culture. Yeah. And then, is it this fun? You think Paul and Juan are your next with your crew here? Okay. Yeah, this is fun. And then we're going to go on. Then we're going to go on. Yeah. We got some snacks up here, man. I, some goodies. <laughs> yeah, we always, you know, we, we sometimes we get to take these photos, man, and then they're gone already. And yeah, okay. Oh, good. Well, we're gonna get on with our with our uh, next presenter, and then we can get to, um Ali. We can get some stuff before you leave, right? Did, did we get you already, Molly? Are, are you taking off? You hang, you can hang. Oh, cool. Okay, good. We, we got time. We're going to go on with our next uh, uh, presentation. Yeah. And, yeah. The DNR. Did you get the DNR? Uh, Deborah and Jeff. Yeah. Then we're, we're going to go on. This is fun. I love this stuff. <laughs> hey, I want to. I want to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 